hello good morning hello good morning instagram and facebook oh, how are you all doing today are you good as you can see i'm outside again the weather's a, a bit cool in the uk but kind of sun's out so i thought why not come outside and um today i've woken up kind of like a bit uh, it's kind of i feel like a bit groundhog today so i need to kind of shake that feeling off i don't yeah, i'm sure you feel the same way um so i thought we'd just kind of move around a little bit show you a little bit of activity today a little bit of lower body work and then hopefully we'll be a little bit more productive into our day we'll get rid of those kind of that kind of foggy feeling that we've all got in um self-isolation haven't we um so yeah the best thing we can do if you're feeling a bit like that you're feeling a bit crap feeling a bit run down not feeling yourself not feeling energy is to be active yeah, it might not be the thing that comes into your head straight away, but it will really, really, really help. So shall we go? If you're there, give me a wave, give me a thumbs up. Let's have a little look who we've got. We're going over to Instagram first. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi, Facebook. So, yes, if you're with me, I'm trying to do um, a little activity on my social media platforms each and every day, Monday to Friday, just to help you, to inspire you, to motivate you to stay active and to, yeah, to keep our mind fresh in our body because in the UK it's like four weeks now and it's, um, it's kicking in. <laughs> so let's go. If you like music, the reason I don't play music doesn't really translate. It doesn't really go very well across um, social media or on the microphone. So, but put on some really good music. If you're not sure about my voice, I won't take offence. You can mute that and just do these movements. Yeah, if the kids are there, give them a little bit of lunch, kind of near to lunchtime. Shall we go? That third we do. So I've got my mat down today. The only reason I haven't got my trainers on, um, I need a little bit of support with this um, kind of decking that I've got underneath my feet. If you do suffer with any of your joints, so um, ankles, knees, lower back, shoulders, anything like that, please listen to the variations that I'm going to give you. Yeah, make sure that you adapt them. Make sure that they um, that you feel comfortable for your body. Let's go. So not too long in a warm up. You can use this as a precursor. So perhaps if you've got your walk or bike walk or something with the family, you can do this afterwards. So it kind of warms up the body and gets you ready. Just take a little bit of a roll down here for me, and just start to um, really move through your spine. So you can see I'm pushing back and then really scooping. Jerry's here. I don't know if he's in shot yet, but he's always here. My dog, honestly, as soon as I roll out a mat, have you got that? A cat or a dog? Exactly the same. All he does, in he comes and he's there doing exercise. Sometimes he just doesn't even do anything. He just looks at me. Okay, last two. And then last one. Now I want you to come down and just take a little bit of a shake out here. So hold on to alternate elbows and just take a little sweep from side to side. So this is basically just ironing out any tension, any little kinks you've got in your lower back good so keep this opposite elbow breathe in lift up push into your feet lift 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 stretch the arms up release roll down and then once again hold on to alternate elbows a couple of deep breaths and then push forward into your feet breathe lift up big stretch exhale good just take a little shake out of your legs we're ready to go now i am going to do a little bit of um deep knee work today so if you do suffer with your knees I'm going to give you a little bit of an option, yeah? So if that's an, an issue for you, please do listen to the different variations I've got. So I'd like you to separate your feet, come down into a squat. Now, a slow squat, and yes, we all know how to do squats, but it doesn't hurt just to check what we're doing. So I want you to try and think about, keep a point in front of you where you can keep your head up. If you look down, then it encourages the back to do this also. So we want to sit back into our heels, and we want a stop point. If we go beyond this, then we're starting to get a little bit of pinching here in our spine. So just make sure we stop. Breathe and stop. And then also what some of us are not aware of, when we um, do a squat, the knees float. They go a little bit like this. They go inwards. So just make sure every now and again, just check. Or sometimes, I know you don't always like to look at ourselves in reflection. Just look how you're doing a squat. And it'll kind of give you an idea what's happening with your knees and your feet. Okay, last four. Last three. We're going to try and keep our body going. So again, we want to get rid of the fog here, get ourselves a little bit more clarity. Also get the body moving around a little bit. Now, all I'd like you to do, bring your feet a little closer and then lift up and try and just balance. I want you to come up on the balls of your feet. If you feel, whoa, that's not too easy, you can always drop your heels down. So don't worry about coming up too high. See if you can bend your knees a little bit. 
pop your heels down and go back to a squat. Yeah? Now, the idea when you're balancing, the reason why I've got a little bit of balance today, when you balance, your mind focuses. So it kind of gets rid of all the thoughts that we've got. So it's really good when we're in isolation to try and do some balance work. Not only is it good for our joints, it's good here for our mental clarity also. Yeah? So last four, last three, two more, one more. And then once again, find your balance, come up onto the balls of your feet, bend your knees, hold here. Don't arch your back, so pull in, heels go down, back to your squat. Ooh, don't worry if you lean backwards. <laughs> last four, last three. Okay, a little bit of a combination here. So once again, find your balance, come up. I'd like you to bend your knees there, see if you can go a little bit deeper. Remember, if you've got problems in your knees, you come up a little bit higher, yeah? Hold in here. Now put your heels down, stay here, and bring your hands into prayer. So we're in chair pose here. We don't want to arch, a little tuck underneath. With your right leg, tap it forward and tap it to the side. So can you see I'm keeping my heel off the floor? All my weight is in this left leg. So keep a nice big deep bend. Four, three, two, one. And let's go back into our squat. So keeping the body moving. And don't just let your arms go like this. Big movement through your arms, yeah? So we want the blood pumping continually around the body, not just here around the lower body. Arms are powering, yeah? So we get the heart rate up a little bit too. Four more, last three. So what we did on the right side, we're going to do on the left. So once again, find your balance. Up, bend your knees, hold in here. Heels go down, come into your chair pose. Breathe for me. Left leg, so we're going to tap it side, front, side, Front, but I've got to lift my heel off the floor. Yeah, if I tap my foot like this, it's going to start to ache. So lift that toe off the floor. Toe, heel, heel toe, heel toe, heel toe. Four, three, two, one. Breathe. Take a little shake out. Now, if you don't mind a little bit of impact, I want you just to add a little bit of space between your feet. If you prefer not to, little tap here. Yeah, four, three, two, one. Again, find your balance. Up. Bend your knees. Keep your heels off the floor for me. Keep them off, keep them off, keep them off. Heels go down. Right leg is to lunge. Then we go to left. Right leg. So now we're starting to take a little bit more movement. Keep your chest up, your chin up. Four, three, good. Two, one. Once again, find your balance. Come up, heels off. Bend your knees deeply. Heels go down. Left leg goes to lunge. So I've got a little bit of balance work, a little bit of movement work. When you're lunging, watch this knee. Keep your knee back as much as you can. Again, just think about, keep lunging. The more you flex your knee, you can get tension. So if you don't want that, lessen the bend in the knee and it will really help. Four, three, two, one. And again, just a little bit of air under your feet. Come on, move, 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 move up that energy around the body. Four, last three, last two. One more, find your balance. Come up, bend your knees. Try and keep your heels off the floor. Come on, lift, 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 lift. Heels go down into your chair. Tap, tap. So we've got our right foot. Four, three, two, one. Hold, balance, lift your heels off the floor. Stay in prayer if you can for me. Heels go down, tap, tap. So we're getting that work through the thighs. What's really good with this movement is it really helps the knees. Ladies, do you know what I mean? That when you age, this kneecap, the skin above it goes over it. We don't want that no more. Pull it up. These are good for that. Four and three. Two more. Good. Last one. Once again, come up. Now we're going into aeroplane. So I want you to take your arms behind you. Heels come up. Bring your arms up. Breathe. Sweep. So can you see if I turn to the side, you've got heels coming up and then pushing down. Again, breathe. Now, what I want you to avoid here, can you see this arch in the back? So just try and scoop your pelvis underneath you. Make sure you sit down from your bottom. Now, you should be feeling these. Okay, another eight. Push down. Last seven. Scoop in from your belly button. Yeah, last four. Oh, that sounds nice and warm now. Last three. Two more. Last time. Good. Now, lift up, bend down, keep your chest up, keep your chest up, keep your chest up. Heels off, heels off, heels off. Heels go down, lunge forward right. So now begin to lift up your chest. Can you see I've got a little bit more momentum into my lunge? Not so deep. Four, three, two, 
One, good. Take a little bit of a shake out air between your feet. Four, three, two more. Now come towards the back of your mat, if you've got the back of your mat. Roll down, creep forward, hold here if you can in a plank, creep your feet forward, roll up, stretch your arms up, releasing down. So hands come, creep back into your plank, hold, walk your hands to your feet, deep breaths, lift and release. And then again, walking. Now, if you prefer not to have impact, you can come down onto your elbows. Okay, Hold here, creep in, unravel. Now, guess what? You can make this a little tougher. As you come into your plank, you can take opposite knee, opposite elbow. Then as you lift yourself up, you can bend your knees, little spring up and jump back down. Or you can take it easy here just from plank, walk yourself back in, lift yourself up. Yeah, so just see what you want to do. So I'm going to give a little variation here, crossing knees and then walking back, bend the knees or jump up and coming down, crossing through our knees, getting our heart rate up, coming in, lifting last time. So here's simplifying, stay with your plank, bend your knees, walk slowly, just squat and then lift up. Last one. Hold in. So this is the simple version. Oh, you're still feeling it. Lift up, a little bit of air between your feet. You all right? Four, three, two. So once again, think about sit back, lift up. I want you to bend your knees. Yeah, so if you can down low, if you feel that's too much, you can lift up a little higher. Hold, sink back down, tap, 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 tap. Good, goes four, three, two. Now, guess what? I want you to lift up and don't do anything. Don't do anything, just balance. Hold, 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 sink it down. Stay here, stay here. I know you can feel it. Lift up, try and bend down. Keep scooping in, pull the belly button in. Heels go down, stay down, tap. So you go side, forward, side, forward, side, forward. Try and say that quickly. <laughs> Four, three, two. Find your balance. Lift the foot. Don't do anything. Just lift, push into your supporting leg. Hold, 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 hold. Now come down. Now lean forward, aeroplane. Go down to squat. Forward to aeroplane, down. Lift. Come on, big push. This is where I want you to make the difference. There. Big lift. There. Lift up. Come on, another eight. Big lean forward. Last seven. Last six. Last five. Last four. Last three. Can you do a little more? Last two. Gosh, I can feel my bottom there. Last one. Good. Now hold and just pulse. Don't do anything. Don't arch here. Tuck underneath you. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Should we get a little bit of air? Yeah, go. Now again, you can do here. Yeah, so think about if you have an issue in your body, rather than stopping, just adapt. Adapt the exercise to your body, to your weaknesses, to your strength. Yeah, that's the key. Four. Are we doing that little combination? Do you remember it? Plank, kind of. <laughs> four. Three, two. So come back a little bit. Ready? Lean forward. So you can either stay in plank or you can cross your knees and then bring yourself forward. Bend your knees. A little bit for lift. Go down into plank. Knees. Now remember, don't droop down through your spine. Walk back. Squat first, then lift. Or simplify, just hold. Or you can come down onto your elbows. Yeah, whatever you prefer. Coming in, simplify, just squat. Coming back. Now, we've got four more of these. Four more. That's all you're going to do. Breathe. Coming down. So we are working the core. We are working the arms. We are working the legs. And we're getting the heart rate up. Hello, Jerry. Coming back. I knew you'd come in. Come on, two more. Crossing over. Remember, down on elbows if you prefer. Big lift. Coming back. Crossing knees. Back. And let's get a little bit of air. Are you okay? 
and then ease off. Now, there's a very condensed little routine that you can do to get your heart rate up, get you breathless, get your lungs to work because when we're stressed and when we're tense, we breathe like this, little shallow breaths, big gulps of air. We've worked the arms, the core, the back, the legs, everything. So I use a lot of what's called compound exercise. Like you can see different muscles at the same time so that you're not going squats, stop, lunges, stop, leg lifts, stop, down to work the arms. Yeah, everything, combine it. It makes it much more effective, much simpler. You can go into your exercises and come out. That's it. Now, let me think about, I felt a little bit muddled, a little bit foggy this morning. Already, I feel a little easier. Just for that moment in time, I didn't think about what was going on. It was just like everything, and normal every day. Yeah. So think of that. If it's not physically for you, think about what it can do for your mental health, which at the moment, I think this is, is probably paramount. This is what's going to be affected much more than this. Yeah. So um, yes, physical body, keep it fit. If you want to keep your tone, if you're used to your cardio, make sure you stay active. If it's your mental health that's starting to decline, if you're getting muddled, if you're getting lethargic, if you're getting down, if you're getting a little bit anxious, activity will help. So think about those two parts together. So I'm just going to come and say goodbye to Facebook first. Thanks for following, guys.